it's not just on the internet, it's in real life and in biblical prophecy. So a red heifer, that is not a term for your ex-wife, that is a <laughs> red cow that is, uh, that is told in the book of Numbers from the Old Testament. Um, God says to Moses and Aaron, speak unto the children of Israel that they bring thee a red heifer without spot wherein there is no blemish and upon which never came a yoke. That is how you purify a temple, according to the Torah. So there, there was a heifer that was sacrificed by Moses. There was another hef, red heifer that was sacrificed by Ezra to start the first temple. It's to purify the grounds of a place before a temple can be created, or to purify a temple that has been desecrated. So you, so you, sacrifice, you sacrifice a red-haired cow. A red-haired cow with no two hairs that are not red. Oh shit! Everything has everything to be, has to be what? red. How, who the hell is the inspector red heifer hair guy? Well, you'll that see. That's so that specific. guy. Jeez, go ahead. So the uh, the idea is you sacrifice the red heifer. You take the ashes of the heifer and you rub it on the garments what? of the priest, and then the priest can purify the land to start a temple. So this was done for the first temple. This was done for the second temple. The second temple, there were seven red heifers sacrificed. So nine in total over time have been sacrificed. And, uh, or I'm sorry, there, I think there was eight total, and this will be the ninth, I believe. Okay. So the third temple is the goal of evangelical, I guess you could call it, Judaism or Messianic Judaism. Okay. Uh, because they believe that the Messiah hasn't come yet, right? They don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. Yeah. They believe he's still forthcoming. Moshiach, they call him. Yeah. And in order for the their Messiah to come, a third temple must be created, and it must be created on the Temple Mount, okay? The Temple Mount, however, is occupied by a mosque. Not oh, only a mosque, snap. but the Dome of the Rock, which is considered the third holiest site in all of Islam. Oh, God. But there is a movement of fundamentalists, uh, both Jewish and Christian, but largely Jewish, who are trying to start the third temple, create the third temple so that the Messiah will come. Uh, but first, they have to sacrifice a red heifer. And they've been looking for a red heifer for 2,000 years. And finally, a guy from Texas oh, God. Uh, specifically bred his Angus cows in, uh, to create a purely red cow and he shipped it to Israel. He shipped five of them to Israel. They're young calves. They have to have no yoke, like I said. So yeah. they're they're grazing right now in a, a plot of land that the that these organizations have purchased. And they're gonna get, they're gonna sacrifice them possibly in, in Passover, which is April twenty second to April thirtieth. Oh god. So Kelly, can we uh, play this clip so we can get some more <sighs> info on this? Numbers. It commands the Israelites to sacrifice a red heifer without defect or blemish, and that has never been under a yoke. Only then can the temple rise again. Caring for them on an Israeli settlement in the West Bank is Yitzhak Mamo. So we have here, uh, after a long research, we find in uh, Texas. In Texas? Uh, yeah, yeah, Texas, United States of America. Texas Red Angus, flying them 7,000 miles to Israel. This is not a publicity stunt. What, what do you mean? <laughs> Meaning, this is something you take very seriously. Harry Potter is a good story. The Bible is not story. The Bible is a way of God to lead us. A massive altar already awaits, where the heifers are to be burned. Oh, God. According to some believers, the ceremony needs to be performed right here on the Mount of Olives, looking directly into where the temple once stood. But something else now stands in its place. The Dome of the Rock and Al-Aqsa Mosque, oh among the holiest sites in Islam. Today, only Muslims are allowed inside, Dude. but that's not stopping Jewish activists outside. Once you got, you started here. Six days a week, Melissa Jane Kronfeld leads groups from around the world who defiantly pray, as close as armed guards permit. It's not about the destruction of Islamic holy sites. It's about preserving this place and being guardians over the house of God for all people. 
So you're happy with it where it is? No, it's going to go 100%. But I believe it's going to go. It's What's going to go? Yeah, the, 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 go. Al Aqsa Mosque and the Dome when of the Rock. When you say that go, Dome of the Rock they has to go, them. MJ, it's hard for me to imagine something more incendiary. Well, let me ask you something. The Middle East seems pretty destabilized right now. And the war, if I'm not mistaken, is already here. Well, to be clear, dude. hers is a dream, the most not Biden shared real estate agent. Well, wait, are you really oh, hold on, just keep watching. Like yeah. Numerous yeah. Islamist yeah. groups. Hamas has dubbed its October 7 assault on Israel the Al-Aqsa wave and has the Dome of the Rock on its emblem. But this is sacred ground to billions of Muslims globally, not just Hamas terrorists. Just wait for this Stresses guy Imam talk. Mustafa Abu Sway of Al-Aqsa Mosque. Al-Aqsa Mosque belongs to all Muslims. So you'll find reaction from Indonesia to Toronto to New York. That's really given. Al-Aqsa Mosque belongs to all Muslims, and the Muslims today are 2 billion people. Two okay, billion people. you can pause oh, it there. Wait, seems very different, the delivery of both are, individuals are in that video clip. Right? Yes. The woman sounds hysterical mm -hmm. and not likable. At all. No, no she's not angry. particularly Israeli either. She and then sounds you, like an American. She's, she is walked American. Over no, yeah. she's American. But she's, she's well connected. I looked into her. She has been on the boards of 40 nonprofits, activist groups that are part of this third temple community, they call it, which is, like I said, both evangelical, Jewish, and Christians, Jews and Christians. So, but hold on. If you caught that, what he just said is true. Um, so, October 7th was codenamed the Al Aqsa Flood. Al Aqsa is the name of the mosque on the Temple Mount. Oh, wow. Uh, a hundred days after October 7th, Hamas spokesman Abu Abida said the aggression against the feelings of an entire nation and the and our path and Al-Aqsa reached a peak with the bringing of red cows. So Hamas is on record saying that the reason the real reason they attacked on October 7th is because these red cows were shipped into Israel. Oh, shit. Because so, they're going to demolish the mosque after they, they sacrifice the do. cow. Yes. After and they that, burn the heifers to body, they're going to burn them to death, which well, I'm shocked PETA's it's, not going to get not involved. It's not a live immolation. It's, you know, sacrifice, throat slit, and then oh, burn the body. But the bigger thing here, though, guys, is if, if the Messiah for the Jews has yet to come, the... For people who believe in the book of Revelations, literally, and for Muslims, they believe that this Messiah will actually be the Antichrist. Well, I was, I was just going to say, because that one gentleman said, if the, the Bible isn't just a story, it's a, okay, so Jesus Christ is our is the messiah mm -hmm. who are you guys trying to summon? And th exactly. that's, that's, that is some scary that's shit. That's the thing I wanted to touch on, because I, I, I know a, a lot of the initial reaction to this, oh, it's just a bunch of religious mumbo jumbo like it's, it's it's all weird it's all ridiculous it's just every faith is fighting for their own thing people people make that argument but it doesn't really matter what you believe on on this particular subject because that's what the people doing it believe. yes people the, with lots of yes, missiles and people with a lot of hostility a lot of weapons and their their fingers in just about every country on the planet fully believe this where the the, the jews believe that as soon as they're able to do this they can rebuild the temple they can return God's presence to the nation of Israel, and they can establish a uh, globally powerful Jewish kingdom. The Muslims believe that as soon as the Jews do this, they're going to be summoning the anti or the the, the, the kicking off the end times, mm -hmm. destroying the the destroying sacred their site, sacred temple yeah. that Mo that Muhammad rode to on his mm -hmm. night journey from Mecca to that place. So it's like I said, one of the holiest places, and the Dome of the Rock has inscriptions from some of the earliest inscriptions that are believed to be either from someone below Muhammad or from him himself. So it's a very it would be like blowing up the Vatican. What? So so. Uh, also, Hamas's emblem has a picture of the Al-Aqsa Mosque on it, and uh, the um, the guy in that video is the same guy who said it's going to happen on Passover, and Hamas told the Middle Eastern Eye that they have been closely monitoring the uh, activities of the Third Temple groups. So, while we are all watching these events in Israel take place on a you know secular materialist level, there's a whole other theological component to all of this that we're not even privy to where the you have one group trying to usher in the apocalypse another group trying to prevent the apocalypse or at least being like you are doing the apocalypse so we're going to play our role in the apocalypse and uh the, like the the marxist idea of history is that everything is just class struggle but uh if you want to be if you want to think religiously then you have to realize that ultimately all politics is actually theological 
and uh, the the what we see on the news is not the full story. The full story, apparently, from Hamas itself, is that this this whole war is about these red cows. Oh, and what what's the date that this is supposed to happen? April. Well, so the the rabbi in that video says that they might sacrifice them during Passover, which is from April twenty second to April thirtieth this month. Some some urban planner out there be like. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have for to me, be, coach. Yeah. Doesn't have to be a specific time uh, period on it, but they, no. they have them now. Yeah. Uh, I believe the a couple of cows in the batch were disqualified when they grew white hairs, but I think there's now between three and four that are that are approved. So yes. here's the other part that's crazy to me. You know, we're talking about this conflict between Jews and Muslims, and part of the big divide over the the site of the Temple Mount and the Dome of the Rock is because both of them claim that. Uh, part of their sacred faith happened on that mountain. Uh, the story of Abraham sacrificing Isaac or uh, about to sacrifice Isaac when God intervenes. Muslims believe it was actually Ishmael who was up there, not Isaac. That's part of where their, their cultural split comes from. But the role of Christians in all of this is very interesting when you look into it. Uh, because basically since like the mid-70s, Big American evangelical groups have been financially contributing to the Third Temple movement. They, which they, is which is which one? Which, basically, the the Jews the have this plan to, to re, rebuild the new temple. Christians are trying Christians to assist have been the, pouring and money. bring up another Messiah. But, Christians no, no, who because, want to start the end times. Because here here's where that comes from: is that they believe because you read the Book of Revelation, which is Christian scripture, not Jewish scripture. When you read through that, it talks about how there is a temple. And all these things must take place around the temple before the return of Christ. So what they say is, okay, uh, if we want Christ to return, we have to help rebuild the temple. It must be the so same th temple. It yeah. must it must be the same temple. So they get, they've given millions upon millions oh of dollars because Jewish groups like the the Temple Institute have all the gold to make all the things described in the Old yeah. Testament. They have all the materials. They just don't have a place to build yet. Here's well, here's my question though. Let's let's just say. This goes down, and obviously, I, I don't know if you guys know this or not, Muslims aren't going to go down without a fight. This no. could lead to a, a whole Do bigger global war. disaster. You heard the guy, Muslims from Toronto to New York. He said two, and by way, two, two billion, billion yeah. people, and I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the news with this whole, you know, the uh, Israel, Gaza, they're protesting. There's been millions of them all over the country protesting. This can get ugly really fast. Right. And that's assuming it doesn't uh, pave the way for the Antichrist and summon the end times Bro, of the world. You're like, even if, yeah, if yeah. you're not even religious at all, times, it matters. I think the end times over the other thing. And and also, uh, it while, you know, disclaimer, the state of Israel does not support this movement, it doesn't really matter because all it takes is a couple groups that's to, it. to kick it off and to begin. Because right now, the um, head... Head rabbis say that uh, Jew Jewish people are not allowed to go onto the Temple Mount. But once they purify these cows, they're allowed to go in. Oh, is, is this group's idea? So, I mean, so are these... I mean, how protected are these heifers right now? Because I'm pretty sure these Muslim groups are like, they're, guys, they're, they're if you see a red secret. cow... Yeah. Kill that heifer. I don't think they're disclosing where they are because I've I've tried to look into it. By the way, there's an article on all this on VT.com. I uh, I tried to look into exactly where they are, and I couldn't find out because they're keeping it secret because they said Hezbollah is also watching them. So Hamas oh. is monitoring, Hezbollah is monitoring. Like, dude, this could be You're in a, list now. a conflagration. Well, of, could you uh, imagine, like, the end of times can be literally at hand and not— Dude, first of all, great story, Shane. Like— I'm not gonna be able to sleep for the next two weeks. That is insane, bro. Yeah. Like they're trying to fulfill prophecy, and as a Christian, we already have Jesus. He already yeah. came. He's going to come back, but that's not the way to do it, bro. We're, that could yeah. be the Antichrist. Yeah, you can't interfere. There's uh, that line in Matthew: "No one knows the hour that well, my Father come has as a chosen. Thief in the night. O only the Father knows the hour." And of that's the, the end. issue I take with the the Christian communities that are so invested in this because they are trying to like, okay, we'll, we'll play the Jews. By helping them rebuild their temple, but they're not going to get what they want. They're not going to get the global Jewish state and the return of the presence of God to the temple. But we're going to usher in the return of Christ, like as as if Christ is sitting up there, you know, totally not well, on the schedule. And like, that, hey, guess that, what? They rebuilt the temple. That, that's what arrogant. you get. Like, that's oh, what you well, get. Well, I guess I got to go hey, back. Hey, now. that's what you get for Christians, like we Catholics. 
we're not involved in this because we already have Jesus here. We have laws, we have rules, we have doctrine. But if you let any guy start a church and and do the crazy things they want to do, they get involved in they killing can read cows it in and, any way yeah. they want. And also, I don't know, whatever. I think it just stems from this kind of arrogance, like, oh, I can usher in glo like cosmic futures through my own doings. It's like, no, you cannot like stop playing God. But guess what happens when you play God? Floods. We Catholics oh are not playing this game. We're not getting involved. We're happy how things are. That's what it is. But I mean, happy as as you are. I mean, this shit. It seems to me from just that. See, what is that CBS? Mm -hmm. Like yeah, that's this mainstream, shit is dude. By the way, this shit's going down. It is going down. It's going to go down, man. I mean, guys, pray. Listen, if you're listening, if you're out there, pray to God because that's. By the way, when you said red heifers like earlier in the week, I was like, okay, red whatever. Is a burger gonna taste weird? Mm -hmm. This is like biblical. End of time shit. <laughs> yeah. End of days. Holy shit. Rob, what do you think? It makes me hungry. I'm, I actually, I'm serious. I'm like, mm, burgers would sound good. You said burgers. Burger they, right they do look delicious. But I mean, so, it's, dude, I just, so the fact that there's no specific date, I'm very, very, I wanna, I'm gonna follow this story because, bro, can you imagine? It's like, okay, we, we got the one because the, 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 the cows that are left have no white hair, no different hair. No, and they, they ha there's pictures of like rabbis watching them with magnifying glasses Dude, that's for so the white hairs. And, and actually, like, this was kind of a weird fringe topic like a few weeks ago, but now I've been seeing on YouTube, there's like Muslim channels covering it, Jewish channels covering it, and then um, Cassie Dillon of The Daily Wire oh, yeah. was just in Israel, and she put a selfie up of her with the cows, so she knows where they are, apparently. And uh, she got tons of hate comments, people hating on her, um, and she's like defending it, saying, well, you know, she was like... Um, Here's a fact check, and she listed a bunch of things about to fact check the people, uh, and she goes, no one's sacrificing them right now. It's like, right now? Oh, my God. Like, so you acknowledge they're going to be sacrificed. Well, that, anyway. Maybe, maybe it makes me a crazy person. I love those people. But, but if I had things my way, I would prefer it if people did not spark an international <laughs> holy war summon the Antichrist and create the end times during my lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you guys want to hold just, off for, like, stop. As, like, 100 years. As you, Humberto you, said about it. the tunnels, can we just stop? Can we just take a just pause? Stop. I yeah. just want yeah. people to stop doing things. <laughs> the last yeah. temple yeah. got stop. destroyed. Hey, scientists, scientists with that thing that throws particles. Set the the they yeah. Just chill, the, chill down. Yeah, guy oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, everything is perfect. The way it <laughs> They've waited since 70 AD. Do you think they could hold off a little bit longer until, like, I'm not in the picture anymore? Hey, guys, yeah, if you're out there and you're listening and you're trying to end the world and usher in the Antichrist, do us a favor. Please stop. Connor is trying to go on vacation this year. 